Hi everyone, this is Maverick Paul, the Chemistry Guru. Now in this video, we want to discuss the oxidation of alkyl benzene. Now usually when we learn the oxidation of alkyl benzene, we will use methyl benzene as an example. I have CH3 attached to benzene, and then I oxidize this using KMnO4 in dilute H2SO4, heat or heat under reflux. The product I'm expected to get will be benzoic acid. Now actually, this oxidation is not restricted to methyl benzene. In general, if you have an alkyl benzene with this criteria, then it can be oxidized to benzoic acid. So the carbon which is directly attached to benzene, in terms of reference to the functional group benzene, we say that this is the first carbon or the alpha carbon. Now, the criteria for the alkyl benzene to undergo oxidation is this alpha carbon just need to have one hydrogen. So as long as the alpha carbon or the carbon that is directly attached to benzene has one hydrogen, then on oxidation using KMnO4, dilute H2SO4, heat or heat under reflux, I would be able to break the rest of the bonds that is attached to the carbon. Then subsequently, this carbon will be oxidized to an acid functional group. So the product that we will be getting is benzoic acid. Now in terms of observation, we would expect purple KMnO4 to decolorize and benzoic acid is actually not soluble in water, so it will come out as a white precipitate. Now next, let's go through some examples for us to familiarize ourselves with this oxidation. If a given methyl benzene on oxidation using KMnO4, dilute H2SO4, heat under reflux, actually this we expect it to undergo oxidation to form benzoic acid because remember this is the alpha carbon, the carbon which is directly attached to benzene, then this carbon actually has three hydrogen. We only need one of it to have a hydrogen. So we know that the product would be benzoic acid. Now, how about this second example? If I have an ethyl benzene, then on oxidation using KMnO4, would it get benzoic acid? Again, what we focus on is the carbon which is directly attached to the benzene, the alpha carbon. You notice this alpha carbon actually has two hydrogen. So we have more than sufficient hydrogen. So therefore, this portion here, will become benzoic acid. Now what happens is the rest of the carbon-carbon bonds will be broken. So this carbon, which is attached to the benzene, will become benzoic acid. So the benzoic acid is here. Now how about the other carbon? What happens to this carbon is, since it is just one carbon, on oxidation, it will be oxidized to carbon dioxide and water. All right, so we have the product here. This carbon will be oxidized to CO2 and water. All right, the third example, how about this alkyl benzene? Now you notice if we focus on the alpha carbon as usual, the alpha carbon which is directly attached to benzene. Now this alpha carbon actually, in this case, it doesn't have any hydrogen because it is attached to three methyl groups. So since this alpha carbon doesn't carry any hydrogen, it cannot be oxidized to give me benzoic acid. Now here's a bonus question. What if I have this organic compound? and I want to oxidize this using these two oxidizing agents. If I have a benzene attached to a CH2CH2OH, so we have a benzene functional group, we have uh, alcohol, and this alcohol, maybe we can put it in, this is a primary alcohol functional group. On oxidation with dichromine in dilute H2SO4 heat under reflux versus in KMnO4 under dilute H2SO4 heat under reflux, is there a difference in the product? if we use these two different oxidizing agents. Now here's something that is very important in organic chemistry. When we talk about different oxidizing agents, different oxidizing agents have different strengths. So they are used to oxidize different functional groups to different extent. So if we know that KMnO4 is a stronger oxidizing agent than dichromate, then we need to be clear which type of functional groups can be oxidized using KMnO4, which functional groups can be oxidized using K2Cr2 O7. Now if I look at K2Cr2O7, it is an oxidizing agent. It is strong enough to oxidize the primary alcohol to an acid functional group. But you notice we have an alkyl side chain. This is our alpha carbon. This alpha carbon has a hydrogen. So in principle, it can be oxidized to benzoic acid, but dichromate is not strong enough to oxidize the alpha carbon to benzoic acid. So it can only oxidize the primary alcohol to an acid functional group. All right, so this is the product. Remember, what we can do is we can oxidize the primary alcohol to an acid functional group, but I cannot oxidize the alpha carbon to benzoic acid because dichromate it is a weaker 
oxidizing agent. Now what if I use KMnO4 instead? So KMnO4 is oxidizing enough to oxidize the alpha carbon to a benzoic acid. Now remember what will happen with KMnO4 is this carbon-carbon bond would break and now I have one carbon by itself. So the product is here. This green carbon will be oxidized to CO2 and water. So you notice if I have the same compound, but if I oxidize this using different oxidizing agents, then it is possible for me to get different products. So therefore, we have to be very clear in terms of the difference between the two oxidizing agents and which functional groups will be oxidized by KMnO4 and which functional groups will be affected by K2Cr2O7. Alright, so that was the discussion involving the oxidation of alkyl benzene. If you have learned something useful from this video, please give me the thumbs up, like this video, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more weekly video lessons. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.